Hello, and welcome to Scarlet Designs. I'm Jody Manier. I appreciate your order for a Lightroom overlay. Let's take a look at how to use it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download the background template and the overlay file that you ordered. You're going to save both those files to your computer in a place where, you're, where you will easily find it. I suggest the desktop to get started and you can move it later. Then you're going to open up the Lightroom application. Once you're in Lightroom, you want to navigate to the folder where your photos are stored that you want to use. Or if you have a collection created with the folders you want to use, you can go to that as well. Then you're going to switch over to the print module. In the print module, you will bring your mouse over to the left hand side and open up the template browser by hitting the little triangle. You're going to hover your mouse over user templates and right click and click import. You're going to locate where you saved your file. In this case I'm on my desktop and look for the folder or, or the file that's saved as an LR template. Click on it and hit import. You will see that your template has already been made for you. Each of these boxes will hold the photos that you would like to put in your uh, template or in the overlay, under the overlay. So you're just going to start by grabbing the photos from the bottom tray one at a time and just putting them into the boxes that have been made. And don't worry, um, uh, you know, you can always change out the photos by um, clicking other ones and trying different things out. So, But anyway, here we have them all set here. Now, and one thing that you may want to try is this little gap in between. We can turn that off by hitting Photo Border under the Image Settings, and that will make those just a little bit bigger. Okay, so the second thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to the Identity Plate, and that's in the Page section. You're going to turn the identity plate on and then you're going to navigate to this little triangle at the bottom and you're going to hit edit. Now we're going to use a graphical identity plate. So click that little icon, go to locate file and go find that file. Again, I'm on my desktop and this is called daddy overlay. It's a PNG file. Choose that. It's going to have a pop-up telling you this is a large file. Yes, it is a large file because I've made it to be a 10 by 20 inch photo. So we're going to say use anyway. And then we're just going to click on OK. And it snaps everything right into place. So if you need to go in and, and choose a different photo, you just turn your identity plate off. You can just pick another photo from your um, lineup and just slide it right over the top and it'll just change what's right underneath it. You can toggle your identity plate on, see if that photo works better for you, and move things as needed. Now another thing is if you find that a photo um, popped in there and, and it's not centered exactly where you want if you want to shift it to the left or right a little bit, you can do that by hitting the control key. You, first you click on the one you want to move, so it's see the blue bounding box. Hit your control key, your mouse were... Sorry about that, I had a little hiccup with my Lightroom. Your mouse, when you hit the control key, will turn into a hand. And there it goes again, I don't know why it's doing that. Sorry about that. You're going to hit the control key. I was hitting the C for some reason. Turns into a hand and then you can move that photo. Um, some photos move up and down. Some photo photos move left to right. It just depends on the, the uh, nature of the original photo, if it was a vertical or a horizontal um, picture to begin with. Um, so that's it. Turn your identity plate back on. Then when you're ready to save, I see this one needs moved back down a little bit. When you're ready to save your file, you're going to go down here to the bottom to print to file. And you're simply going to give your photo a name 
and we'll call this one um, Daddy Overlay Gift. And we're going to save that out to our desktop. And it'll just take a minute. You can watch your print job prepare here as it goes to save. And then you're ready to go. So thank you so much for um, purchasing an overlay from me. And again, if there is ever an overlay idea that you have, please let me know and I'd be glad to custom design it for you.